Hello everyone, welcome back to a video. It's been a little while since I've recorded from my phone like this. I don't know if I've ever done it on this phone. But, I want to show you guys offer up scams and how to tell the difference between a real post and a scammer. Um, I might do a similar one on Craigslist because I know there are some scammers on Craigslist. But, I'm just going to do offer up real quick because... It's not too difficult to tell apart scams from real posts. And I just want to make sure none of you guys get scammed. Because my mom has been messaging people trying to buy a camper. And all of them are scams. And I don't know why they're all scams when they're just campers. But as you see, there's some on here like, these are dealers. They're allowed to be on here. You're allowed to have a dealer on here. See, you've got the information. Yep, see, that's dealer, okay, um, there's a personally owned vehicle, it's a Ford Ranger, Ford freaking Ranger, so, good, everything on here looks good, looks legit, nothing fishy, good pictures, this one is a scam as you can see here it has the email contact me in the email and that's all they want it's got a sketchy looking picture and the post picture is one picture it's got the blacked out tags and the picture is really zoomed in um, they're gonna say very clean or something funny in the title and it they're going to have contact me in the Gmail and then they're going to give you the Gmail. It's going to say gmail.com and the, a lot of the time they'll do it in the um, emoji letters to gmail.com to talk about the 2003 Chevy Tahoe 2003. See, they repeated that. They want $1,200 because I urgently need to find a buyer. Thank you for your time. Um, not every scammer on here will have their gmail in the description and if they say contact me in gmail when you're texting them on here or they say they want to sell it for their mom or something funny like that or real fishy it's got to be real fishy and you'll know um specifically this one i'm going to report this one because this one is a scam it is a scam has gmail.com in emoji letters I'm going to report that one and this is an old profile but it's still a sketchy profile it's an old profile just they post stuff like this which is not good they shouldn't be posting like that this one is not a scam I don't think doesn't seem like it nope this is not a scam as you can see this one has the filter but it is not a scam because they are not trying to scam you obviously this is a real post It's actually quite a nice Jeep Patriot I've never seen one that nice um, there's this one it's got a filter on it but I don't know if that's real or a scam because they took a picture of their computer screen. That one I would probably steer clear from. I wouldn't buy it. Um, that one seems a little sketchy in all honesty. Um, that one, same Chevy Tahoe. Just turned around as you can see. Different user from Phoenix, Arizona. And it's showing up in my area. See they got the same email different user the scam and if you guys want me to interact with one of these scammers we can hello and I'm gonna go to their email and I'll show you guys what happens when you do We're going to go to their email. 
And I'll let you guys know what happens there. But this is also a scam. It's the same Tahoe. We're going to report it. Has gmail.com and emoji letters. See, that's another scam. It's profiled by the same person. This one's probably a scam too. Nice carp. Yep, it's got the emojis. You know it. Cindy61MT at gmail.com. My mom was getting the uh, same one as what my mom had. Yep, they are going to tell you about the vehicle. They're going to give you an email. They're going to tell you to go to that. They're going to tell you some lies. They're going to tell you it's an absolutely perfect car. It's going to have filters. It's not going to be the same car in each post. Might be. Um... Yeah, and they're just going to be random all over the place in your area. This is also a scammer. We're going to report them. As gmail.com in the emoji letters. We're going to report them because that is not right. You should not be scamming people on off -rep. What's the point? You're not going to get anything. And if you do, you're just a really bad person. I don't know why anyone would do that. That's another one right there. You can see they always have like that tropical background. Even if you don't live in a tropical area, it's going to have the tropical Florida background. And they're going to give you some BS about it and give you the email. See, this is another one. Just a different person. You can go to their profile. It's going to be one, maybe possibly multiple posts. It's going to be in a random area, joined a random date. And we're going to... Report this one as well. Gmail and description. So, I think you guys should be able to figure it out. Figure out what's a scam, what's a dealer, what's a normal person. See, that person's offering uh, wraps and stuff. That's actually kind of cool. Look at that one. These are pretty neat. That is kind of cool, honestly. They did the uh, graphics on the hood. That's pretty neat. Um, see, they do things. Usually, OfferUp will remove contact info. They're going to want to put contact info for their business. Because they don't want to reply through offer up. That's taking too much time out of their business. They just rather their call. Which is completely understandable. Look, there's the same Chevy Tahoe. Again. Same 2003. And they got the same email. Different user. Oh my god. This person is, is really trying to get rid of this fake Tahoe. If they're posting it on this many things. And Gmail with emoji letters. This person's going to keep trying to do it. Oh, look. It's probably already been removed or they're not going to let me report more. There's another fakie, I think. Yep, there's another fakie. Definitely. See, they're going to have a bunch of emojis and crap in the thing. It's going to have the zoomed in picture with the filter. It's another fake. I don't want to drag this video on to 10 minutes, but you guys should be able to determine what's fake and what's real. They mainly do it on cars and trucks, but they'll do it on other things too, like campers and, you know, like expensive things. Anything that's above $1,000, they will do it on. They'll even do it on lower price things like go-karts and stuff. I've seen it. I do a lot of wheeling and dealing on here. I have a dude coming by at 11 o'clock with a lawnmower I'm buying for 60 bucks which will be posted on my other channel. Um, and I also bought a truck recently, and I'm going to do update videos on that as well. Thank you for watching, and see you later.